So now let's go and add all those values again. So now that we have this, we we'll leave it down for now and let me place some new spice directives. I'm going to say plot V BRG1 BRG2. I want to measure the bridge voltage. And let's also measure the current. And I think we don't really need the output voltage. What I want to look at is the pulse voltage. So let's go and run the simulation. And this is what we get. So let's come over here and have a look at the bridge voltage because this is the most important thing. And this is because I have chosen 0.5. So it's exactly a rectangular waveform. So let me come over here and change it to some lower value so that we can see a pulse. So let me put it back to 0.3 and rerun the simulation. Simulation for some reason has slowed down again. So there appears to be some kind of issue, an issue with simulation. As an example, the only way I could get this to work was by using the piecewise linear voltage source and starting with 0.5 and not at 0. So for example, if I run this simulation, now the simulation runs fairly smoothly and in the beginning it starts with a rectangular waveform which it seems to have no issues with and as you can see as it progresses gradually the phase shift begins to appear. So let's come over here have a look. This is the phase shift and you can clearly see that now we have a phase shifted pulse that is this is the phase shifted waveform and let me just zoom in. This is at 50 milliseconds, so by now it is definitely settled. So let's take a look at this. This is our phase shifted waveform. And you can clearly see that the phase shift exists because now we have only pulses and it is no longer a rectangular waveform. And if you come over and have a look, here you'll see that the carrier waveforms are phase shifted with respect to each other. And interestingly, the inductor current, let's come over and have an inductor current. The inductor current has an average of 0 and the reason for that is because our voltage now has an average of 0 and this is precisely why this is used. This is used when we are, this is used in DC to DC converters which have an isolation transformer because in that case you cannot apply a voltage with an average DC volt, with the average DC value. So for example, let's come over here and change it to something even smaller. So let's say I'll change it to 0.1 and let me rerun the simulation. And by now it should have settled. So let me just zoom in. And you can clearly see that because we have chosen a smaller phase shift, our the pulses have become narrower, right? So this clearly shows how our how we have implemented phase shift PWM on this particular converter using the full bridge converter. And we can come over and have a look and you'll see that the current magnitude decreases but it still remains a average zero value or rather a pure AC.